Hello there. How are you? I'm feeling like crap again. Ever since I started doing this, this is number 16, podcast number 16 of It's Morgan. You seem to be coming ill with everything. But I still thunder on. Thunder on the best I can. How are you? I hope you're doing better than I am. It's a hay fever, that's what it is. Well, I'll tell you what, since I got COVID, I haven't got it now, because I've done the test this morning, so I was thinking it was COVID. Shoved the thing up my ass and done the COVID test and it wasn't. So I could rule that one out. But ever since I've had COVID, I genuinely felt shit. Just shit. I get, well, I'll pick up hay fever more easy. Um, everything. I may have a gluten intolerance. I haven't eaten bread or anything like that. Anything that contains wheat or barley. I have a little bit, but not major, not, not full on pasta or anything like that. I f feel better. But get hay fever and all sorts. Jesus. Can't have lager, which is a shame. But anyway, I'll still crack on. Yeah, 20 odd years ago, when I started work, paying national insurance 20 years ago. You know, I was told by the management, you've got to come in, even if you're ill, you still got to come in. And it was like that for a couple of other places that I worked over the years. You've got to come in. You've got to, you know, dig deep and come in. You've got to do it for the team. I'm thinking about it now, nearly every place I worked at, after I'd left, had closed down. Funny that. Just a few that I wish had closed down, and there's a few that I was like, all right, all for the best. But still. Yeah. Now. It's like, oh, if you're not feeling well, don't come in. Make sure you rest up and you come back in. I was like, well, it's, it's changed a lot. Really has. I'm feeling crap now. The first bit I've recorded all week. It's Friday today. It'll go out the Monday. I was hoping to get two out in one week for hey oh, People are listening. Thank you very much. I, I, I look at my analytics, but I don't go by raw. I've got people listening. Yeah, great. I'll keep doing them. People are listening. It's growing each week. More episodes, more people listening. But what the wonderful thing is, I don't know how you're finding this podcast on YouTube, Spotify, Amazon, whatever. But people are. <laughs> Which is nice, good to know, that my work is appreciated and naturally listened to. But it's Friday today, so this time last week, The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the King, I keep calling it Breath of the Wild 2, it's not Breath of the Wild 2, Tears of the Kingdom 2 has come out. And it is as good as the say. That's my opinion, that's all I'm going to say on it, it is as good as the say. I just wish I had more time to play it. I really do. You could play it now. No, 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 I want to talk, I want to talk about it a little bit. Uh, gaming, yeah, let's get into gaming talk. <coughs> I'm done with Xbox. I am done. <clears throat> not because I'm ill. And it's not for what's going on with this um, <clears throat> Redfall, Game Pass, quality of their exclusives. <clears throat> oh, but, oh, I feel terrible. Excuse me. Right. This is the reason. If you've got these, or look them up online. Look at the Nintendo controller. The Nintendo Switch controller. Look at the Pro controller or even the Joy-Cons. Now look at the Xbox controller. Look at where the A button is and look where the B button is. And look at where the X button is and look where the uh, Y button is. They're in completely different places. And vice versa. Now when you're playing a game. So I'm just going to finish off game pass for the month and i'm calling it a day and well unless they absolutely knock it out of the ballpark with the presentation but i know what it's going to be these are the games are coming we don't know when they're coming but they'll be coming waiting for that kick-ass exclusive and i was looking at starfield as well i was like well i've played skyrim it's good but i can't really get into it it's like, i'm not going running home to play it for a start same with fallout 4 it's not something i'm rushing home to go and play any of those Batista games maybe doom but no 
Now, if you look at where the buttons is, while trying to play Tears of the Kingdom, I was consistently looking down at the controller for the A and B buttons. Now, I've got this week into the habit of that, but then next week, or this week, I should say, I was doing the F1 challenge. Do 20 laps, which I'm working my way through. Thank goodness for quick resume. That's one good feature I'm going to miss. I'm not really that bothered. I want you to just play multiple games, that's what Game Pass is for. And it was just, I was just in the menu, and it was like push B to go back, and I was pushing A on the Xbox because that's where it is on the Nintendo Switch, and vice versa, if you get what I mean. It's just consistently. Oh, someone's busy. Just consistently um, having to look down at the controller. Now, if you're deep in the middle of the game, that is a difference between success and game over. If you push that wrong button, happens many times, happened before. So I was like, if I have a choice between Nintendo and Xbox, I'm gonna have to go with what I've got under the bed. I've got the NES 64 and the Wii under my bed right now. I haven't got the GameCube because it's backwards compatible with the Wii. And again, I've only got three GameCube games and most of them are compatible elsewhere. But anyway, moving on. Yeah, so I'm, not, I'm sticking with Nintendo, give me the choice between that or the Xbox because just the buttons are different. But if I was going on the PlayStation and it tells me to push circle, I can't even know where circle is. I can't even know where square is compared to A, B, X, Y in two different places. So that's why. Unless they can absolutely knock it out of the ballpark with this presentation coming up. It's not about money. I suppose time's an issue. How much time I get to play on these things now? And that is the end of gaming talk. I'm going to go on to bullshit. Actually, a little bit of gaming talk. It's not really gaming talk, but... Alright, I got Tears of the Kingdom, but I got the physical copy. It's gaming talk, but it's not really related to gaming talking. I worked to someone, General Chan, he's like, you've got a Nintendo Switch, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, I've got one, yeah. Just bought my son one. Okay. And this is what he said. You can lend him some games. You can lend me some games so my son can play them. My attitude was, can I? You can fuck off. But because, obviously, it's someone I have to be civil with, employment reasons I just said oh I'd love to but uh, I got them all digital and I thought what a prick what a prick just to arrogantly ask someone like that and you know these type of people you know not to lend them something because you know you won't get it back you don't know if that's definite but if you're 30% believe if you lend someone something and you don't get it back you don't fucking lend it to them and this time's the type of bloke I'm like, I'm not fucking lending you anything. If you lend him a pen, you won't see that pen again. It's one of them. There you go. But there's lots of people like that. Bullshitters. Bumped into someone the other day I used to work with. Oh, what are you doing now? As you do. Oh, I'm not working at the moment due to uh, mental health. I haven't been working... Uh, since I last saw you, since we last worked together, you know, oh, okay. So, well, have I seen you on the side of the road? And someone else has seen you on the side of the road as well, collecting traffic cones and putting them down again and making everyone's journey late for work. Why bullshit? That's what, that's what gets me. It's like, what, why bullshit your way around? You know, He's in the public, but well, he works it out in the public. People see him, and if you know the guy, you go, "Oh, you're working, are you?" Mm. He's like, "No, I can't work mental health." Was that wasn't that long ago I saw him working, but he is known for the occasional bull. The, the amount of times he had to rush home. Oh, so much, so much, so much gone on. I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to leave you on your own. Phew, gone. And you speak to other people, and they're like, "Yeah, he pulled that trick on me." Bullshitter. It's a Saturday. The day is lovely. 
I've recorded stuff throughout the week, and guess what? I cannot fucking remember what I said. While I'm a brain, <laughs> honestly, throughout the week, I'm like, what have I talked about? Tears of the, I think I've talked about Tears of the Kingdom. That's a really good game. The time to play. Harry and Meghan. Oh, God, I can't be asked. I can't be asked to talk about them. You know, they got chased through New York traffic. And they said it's mortified. And the taxi drivers, basically, in a nutshell, turned around and said, yeah, that's what we call a Thursday in New York. That's it, in a nutshell. As far as I'm concerned, right? Subject matter closed, done. What else has happened? I have no idea. <laughs> Nothing happened. But the weather's good while recording one of these things. For a change, but the weather's so good. It's going to be a uh, very quick and short snip snip. Because it gets very hot in the car while I'm on my break. Normally I've got the windows down. But I don't want sort of randoms coming up to me while I'm recording. I'm shouting in the little fuck you there. Fucking Birmingham. Well, I tell you, the weather's got better, so you know what that means. It means people are starting to drive like fucking idiots. Did the good Lord not give you indicators on the car to use? Use them! The blinkers for most people. Fucking use them! Park in the line. Park in the line. It's not difficult to do. But for some people it is. Just park in the fucking line. So we can all have an equal share. It's like right now, I'm just walking past. There's a guy who's wearing one of these down jackets. And it's fucking warm. And there's another older couple who are still wearing fucking face masks. Now, I've had a touch of hay fever this week. I've done the test. I know it weren't COVID. So I thought, well, keep yourself to yourself. I'm not going to wear these masks that don't work. And I've got them around their fucking chins outside. So what's the fucking point? Why? Have they got a disease? I don't know, it's stupid. The whole face mask things now. It's like, have I got COVID? No. Are you doing surgery? No. As I, rem I remember talking to a guy who worked at Birmingham's Children's Hospital, my previous job, just when it was all about to kick off. And I, was I remember talking to him, this is just before it was, it was coming in the news, um, in the UK and he says this is going to happen for a very very long time this is going on I thought, oh yeah yeah I was just fine. Nah, nah, nah. but then again he knows more than me I don't know what he'd done in the children's hospital but he worked there so he knows more than me as far as I'm concerned on anything medical it could have been a janitor or just a porter for a while no, but, and he was talking about the masks and he says because people are umming and ahhing, oh, do we need to wear masks? Do we need to wear masks? And he said, right on the off, this is all before it kicked off, way back when, and said, you only really need to wear them if you've got it. Because you're stopping spreading the disease you have, like the coup, the, the, coup, the cold or the flu. Because I know in Japan, it's a legal requirement, I don't know, someone can fact check this for me, but it is sort of a legal requirement and sort of, social responsibility if you've got the sniffles you, you put the mask on it and it helps stop spread of the disease when you're out and about of the flu cold or corona or hay fever or whatever but i've kept myself to this health this week i sound better i feel better last night i had half a glass of wine when i say glass the bottle is made out of glass i had half a glass of wine last night which is all good i've got to drug myself up for all sorts of things now it's all good, it's just a shame that I'm having to work on a fucking Saturday. Well, mommy break now. Getting hot in the car. As you do. Damn thing. So I've got a few things recorded. Anything that I want to talk about? Anything that you want to talk about? I did set up the email. And I've had a few responses and I'm like, that's not legal. And I'm not going to mention that, so... <laughs> the email, 0121, it's Morgan at gmail.com. That's the direct email address towards uh, me. You get a direct contact to me. If you want anything you want me to discuss or talk about, 
Any complaints? That's the email address. Any compliments? Like, share, and subscribe, and all that crap. Adam wants a PlayStation. The good wife wants a new kitchen, bathroom, everything. So subscribe, like, share, and all that. Blah. Mm. I always whinge when I gotta say that. Oh fuck it. But there is something who someone has spoken to me about, and we've been talking about, which I'll bring up next week. And that is bingo clubs. I used to work in one, and that'll be the talk of the town for next week. So something to look forward to. But I'm Adam Paul Morgan. Thank you very much. I know it's been a bit of a bluff this week, but I've been a bit bluff this week with whatever disease I've had, but it wasn't COVID. So back to normal next week, and we'll see how we go. Yeah, I've been feeling a bit crap. So that's why this podcast has been a bit crap. But I'll learn as I go. That's my plan. I'm going to learn as I go. Anyway, you take care now. All right, it's a beat. Have a good one. Bye.